Hello YouTube, I am making this video as a response to WatchMojo.com's list of the top 10 best cartoon shows that got cancelled, because one absolutely fantastic, brilliant, amazing show, one of my favourite shows of all time, animated shows, that was cancelled far too early, did not even make it as an honourable mention on this list. I think it's obvious what I'm talking about, The Secret Show. This show was just awesome. We have following we are following two secret agents from a sort of semi-secret organization called Us, who are out to stop numerous villains out to take over the world. These Epic characters include such unforgettables as Doctor Doctor. Oh, stop it! Tell me what I want to know, or I'll give it another mug ring. With her evil organization Lim, and and the Floaty Heads, a group of aliens with floating heads, alongside some uh, some stranger villains like the Imposters and the Reptigators. <laughs> Generally, each episode is surreal but and extremely entertaining, but they do have some element of tragedy in some episodes, like when we see Victor's dad in the Wobble Men from Dimension 10 episode, and he can't come back to our world because he's been made all wobbly. So they even add a fun spin on some of the tragic elements. Dad! Ditch the Wobble Suit! It's the only way you'll get through! I can't, son! Of course you can! No! I really can't! You see... I'm not wearing a wobble suit! What? What do you mean? I've been in Dimension 10 too long! I've gone all wobbly! No! Yes! If you're staying, then I'm staying with you! No! <laughs> She's right, son! You're too young to go wobbly. Bye, son. Bye, Dad. I'll see you again one day. But they don't go too far with it. They don't go too far with any of it. Uh, okay, at times they do it might a little, but generally they don't. It also has one of the catchiest villain songs I have ever come across. Hypnotize, hypnotize. Twin this with the brilliant, utterly excellent voice talents of Rob Rackstraw, who like, voices Professor Professor. Fascinating! I'm clever now, but in the future, I'm a genius! If you fear oh. the brain, it will expand to such a size, it will crush all beneath it! Do you understand? Stay calm, or the earth is and also, so Keith Wicker, who voices the guy who's in charge of us, who for reasons of security, his name is changed daily. My personal favourite one of these names is... Oh, I take security very seriously. That is why my name is changed daily. And today, you may call me... Oh, nibbling, nobbling, knock knees. And that's just brilliant. In fact, there's a little scene afterwards where he's talking to future Victor, who also who eventually develops his job, and his name is also changed daily. But uh, let's just look at this scene. And in this time zone, you may call me. Oh, wait for it. 
Jet Strong. Jet Strong? I don't believe it. I get nibbly nobbly knock knees, and he gets Jet Strong. Shush! Oh, but it's not fair. I want a name changer like that. It's just, it's just brilliant. I mean, they even have an episode where a clown takes over the world because nobody takes him seriously enough to stop it. This series is just awesome. It was unbelievably excellent. It was surreal. It was funny. It was enjoyable. It had fantastic characters, which it developed to an extent. And we really got to know them. We really got to feel for them. Whilst at the same time laughing at their failures at times. It had some of the best villains. And all in all... It was great, right up until the last episode, when... Okay, there were a few other rubbish episodes. There was the Stealing Switzerland episode, which was awful. But every other episode, aside from that, pretty much was excellent. Then the last episode, Secret Double Agent, came along. And this was bad for one significant reason. It ended on a cliffhanger. I know what you're thinking, you might not have thought of this as a cliffhanger, but think about it. The secret thing, the mysterious object which Uz has dedicated virtually all of their resources into protecting, is now in the hands of double agent of Dr. Doctor's evil organisation, Vim. And he, that's it. Agent can't be trusted, now has it. He's been put in charge of guarding it. From now on, you will be chief guard of the secret thing. How do you feel about that? Oh, goody, that cheered him up. This could lead to so many interesting plot points and so many funny episodes, but it was just axed unceremoniously after series two, even though this the series was developing an enormous cult following. And it's still got one really online. It's not the most popular series. It didn't do particularly well with viewing, although I do have quite a few friends who also viewed it. I also have several other friends who've never even heard of it till I mentioned it. I mean, this show is like a lot of the other ones on that list that Watch Mojo did, because it was underrated in its time, it didn't quite get the views. But this was just awesome. It had an X factor, something you can't quite put on a show, something that you can't quite categorise it to make it more awesome than other things. Because the people who made it, Collingwood O'Hare, they made several attempts at very similar shows in very similar styles, and even used quite a lot of the same voice actors. But nothing else they've made has really been able to recapture the magic of the secret show. And... It was cancelled too early, it should have been on Watch Mojo's list, I can't imagine why it wasn't unless they simply hadn't heard of it. Comment to see what comment and say whether or not you agree or disagree.